platypod, platypod, do you like the platypod? Would you like it here or there? Would you like it anywhere? Would you like it in a house? Would you like it with a mouse? Would you like it in a box? Would you like it with some locks? Would you like it high or low? Would you like it on the go? Would you use it on a car? Try it, try it, you'll go far. You can use it, you will see. It's as easy as one, two, three. The best tripod is always the one that you have with you. Hi, this is JP Morgan. Filmmaking and stills are about getting unique images, images that no one else gets. Most people stand at this height, and that's the image they get. Today we're going to talk about unique angles with a device, the Platypod, that allows us to get our camera in places that tripods can't always get to, and it gives us the ability to carry it with us wherever we go. Now, do I hate tripods? No, I love tripods. I use them every single day. But does the Platypod help me get interesting and unique angles? Yes, it does, and let's take a look at some of them. One of the reasons that I love the Platypod is because they've got a couple of different sizes and it's just really easy to keep it with me. You've got the Platypod Max, it's better for larger cameras. We use the C200 on this all the time. Then you've got the Platypod Ultra, which is better for smaller cameras. You can put a plate on this, either one of these, and slide it on the camera. So as you're shooting on your tripod and you say, okay, I want to get a low angle, you yank it off and you throw it on the ground. And you've got an immediate access to a low point. You don't even have to reconstruct it because it's on your tripod, on the plate, on the tripod, and it's ready to go to work. Put it on your backpack, carry it when you're out camping, backpacking, put it on your bag when you're gonna be walking around the street and shooting, if you're gonna pull it out and shoot with it, it's just easy access. Easy to have in your camera bag, easy to have with you when you're going around. The best tripod is always the one you have with you. The Platypod is an excellent B camera platform. It makes you put your camera in unique places. You can put your camera on the floor to give you an up look. You can put it on a shelf to be able to look past things and to see into your, your scene. It, you can put it on a chair. You can screw it to the ceiling. I, I've shot them into the door, the top of a door. So it's just a matter, it makes you get that camera and allows you to get that camera into places that you wouldn't put it in normally. Light to carry, interesting angles, great B camera device. So. In a museum, you can put it on a stanchion or place a little platform here or a little spot there. You can set your camera up and take those long exposures you'd like to get in a museum at a low ISO to allow you to get the shot that you really want because it's not a tripod, it's a platypod. Sometimes tripods can't get low enough. The platypod gets you just that much lower so you can get that super low angle looking out to make that hero shot. Great for down into the dirt if you're looking into a landscape scene, see things in the foreground. It's great for being on set when you want that low angle and see an actor walking into the scene. I actually have a low profile thing by, made by Edelchrome that gets that camera right down as low as you can get so you can drive over it with a car. Just a simple way to get your camera down on the floor. If you're in a crowded place and want to slide your tripod in there, sometimes it's very difficult. We were shooting in Bryce just a couple of weeks ago. There's no room. There was like 30 people trying to get a shot right in this one little spot where we wanted to see down the river. What did Andy do? He just set the platypod on a square column that held up the bridge fence that no one could get into that area because it's a square, you can't get your tripod up there. He set the platypod on top of it. The top was metal and a little uneven. One screw leveled out the camera and he's looking right down the river, the spot that everyone wanted to be. And we got to watch the sun come up, get that shot. For those super low shots that you wanna get right down on the water, the platypod's perfect because you can get the platypod actually right in the water if you want to and you got your camera right there, super low on the water or on the rocks next to the water to give you that super low angle and that rock and water in the foreground. Great way to get your camera down low when you're outside shooting nature and landscape photography. It's a great device for tabletop product photography because you can get your camera right on the table, right up next to the subject matter that you're shooting. When you're using a tripod, you hit that point where you gotta get over, you gotta sling an arm over, and that's sometimes very difficult to work with, whereas you drop this onto the table, you can look at the back of it and still do your video or your still shot and get right in close, right in intimate with the product and the things you're shooting. It makes it very easy to do product photography right in the middle of the, of the product. We've used the Platypod before on a table. We use a cartellini to lock it down so it's not going anywhere. And then we use that C-pan, the small C-pan arm on that to give us that little sweep around to look at the things that we, at the product that's on the table. That is a fabulous look because I can get that little arc looking around, that parallax move around the subject matter. So it goes that little arch around, keeps the subject matter in the middle all the time. And the platypod gives me a base to support that little, uh, the C-pan arm on. Cartellini locks it to the table. I'm ready to go. 
One of my favorite things to do with it is get it overhead. Shoot it into the roof. You just, just got two places for screws. Shoot it right into the ceiling. We just did this uh, shoot that we were doing over at a barn. Had an old rusty board in the top. Our boards get rusty. Well, it's got an old warped board in the top. And we just shot a couple screws, screws in it. Now I've got an overhead camera angle. That was excellent. So it's just easy to be able to, to get it up there and shoot a couple screws and look down. We do it inside on our set on the side lens. We shoot it into the two x four overhead and we've got our camera suspended from overhead. So it's a great way to stabilize your camera and be able to see from overhead. This is one that I never really thought about, but we've started to use and all of a sudden it's opened up a huge world for me. And that is strapping it to a tree. The first time I said strapping it to a tree, I mean, how many times are you gonna strap this thing to a tree? You know, I mean, it just, it seems so obscure to me. But what's happened is we have kind of taken on that thought and we started to strap it to things in the scene. We just strapped it to a fence over the crails where the horse training uh, facility that we shot at a couple of days ago. So it's right there on the fence. It's not on the side of the fence, it's right there and it's looking straight down the fence. It allows you to strap it to things to get it into places that normally you wouldn't be able to get your camera. So strapping it to things, not just trees, telephone poles, parking meters, a fence, any service where you can get a strap around and tighten it gives you the ability to get a shot that normally you would never get. It's a very interesting concept to strap it to things to get those really unique angles. It comes with this strap, so you can strap it around things with a double clip on it so you can pull it tight. You can secure your camera and you can shoot video or stills and just go to town. We did an entire lesson on this topic, that is getting it into tight places into a microwave, into a fridge, into, I mean, I love shooting in really those interesting places looking out. So it's the mailbox looking out. It's the microwave looking out. It's the fridge looking out. I love to get one or two of those shots just about every time we do a commercial, every time we do any kind of piece that I want it to look interesting. I want the covers to open. I've got a camera sitting there. This makes it super fast for me to get my camera into place, position it, get my shot and go on. And that's the thing that I want. I want speed and I'd be able to move fast, pull my camera off the tripod, it's got the platypod on it, shove it on to the end to the microwave, open it up, take my shot, close it, pull the camera out, back on the tripod and off we go. So there you have it, unique angles with the platypod. Look for ways to use it. Why I use it is the first point I made in the lesson and that is because it makes me put the camera in places that I normally wouldn't put it. And that I think is a great way to make you get interesting shots and interesting angles and to make your video and your stills even look better. So make yourself put the camera in places you wouldn't have thought of before. Keep those cameras rolling and keep on clicking. Welcome to our food photography master class. You're gonna learn so much about food to take you from beginning to intermediate to even some advanced techniques here. We're gonna take you through seven different setups, everything from natural light to using strobe in the studio and show you how you can use lighting to help tell a story in your food photos. We're also gonna show you all the gadgets and the little tools that you can have in your studio to help you get those great shots you're looking for. Click the button below and get your download. Don't wait another second. Keep those channels rolling. And keep on clicking. Make sure you subscribe to The Slanted Lens. Push on the button and subscribe to The Slanted Lens. We're gonna give you great content each and every week. I want you to be one of our subscribers. You can also follow us on Facebook. You can like us, follow us, do all those kinds of things on the different platforms. Get with us on Instagram. We have great things coming out on Instagram each and every day.